Hey, what's up, gang? Hope you're doing well. Um, the Yankees made a roster move. Well, two roster moves. I want to share that with you. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about Aaron Judge as well. I'm going to give you a prediction, and I want to know what you think of it. <laughs> and so, but before I do that, I'm going to address something. Somebody came on the live stream last night. Somebody's been on the live stream now for the last couple weeks. Disguising himself with the name of Aaron Judge. And uh, if you've seen him, you may have, you may have or not. Uh, or you may have or may not have. So um, he started uh, kind of going off the cuff a little bit. And last night he suggested, uh, well, he's been suggesting for the last couple of nights that a fellow content creator has been attacking me uh, and bashing me on his channel. And uh, but last night took it another level and, and said this guy was talking about my wife. So, and immediately, um, you know, we had to put that one to bed. There's no place for that ever, anywhere. You don't talk about somebody's significant other, family members, nothing, especially on channels like this or whatever. And again, I'm giving this guy the benefit of the doubt. Not him, the content creator that he's uh, accusing of doing these things. So I'm, I'm going to back, I'm doing investigate. I'm watching all the live streams and videos and blah, blah, blah. If it's true, I'll deal with it accordingly. Okay, but I don't want that on my. I don't want that stuff in the live streams ever. So he's going to be blocked and reported. Okay, I don't want him ruining the experience for other people because there's no need to start a beef between people. Or if you're just trying to be a troll or whatever you're trying to do, he's even he was asking repeatedly to be a moderator on my channel. And if he's a troll for that channel, then you know he, I would have given him the ability to delete and block people and blah blah blah. So that's never happening. Okay, so you're on my radar, dude. Now. Okay, and so is the content creator until proven otherwise. Okay, but again, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he would do that. Okay, even though we may disagree on things or we have different political views, there's no place for that stuff on baseball channels anyway, at least on mine. Okay, so we'll keep that out the bed, but, you know, I wanted to address that really quickly. Okay, so my apologies if anybody was caught off guard with that. I don't know where it, I was caught off guard with it too, but that person is being, being blocked and reported and... Uh, for the other content creator, if you guys and gals know who he's talking about, he mentioned him yesterday, um, feel free to let that content creator know that I am standing up for him. Because I, this is a serious accusation. That's something that you could destroy this man's reputation. Okay? and Or try to destroy his business or whatever he's trying to do, his livelihood. That's not something I'd stand for. So, and uh, I won't have that. I just won't have it. So, but you're on my radar now, dude. Okay? And you both are. Okay? And I'll just we'll leave it at that. Now... Let's get to something more fun. Let's get to the roster move first. The Yankees just designated Chi-Chi Gonzalez. He pitched yesterday <laughs> for assignment. And I uh, pitched well yesterday. But I, I had a feeling it was going to come because Miguel Castro is back. Another reliever is back. And with the decimated bullpen, we can use as many reinforcements as we can get. You know, Britain's done for the year. Uh, Clay Holmes is done for the regular season. And Marinaccio is dealing with shin problem, like a shin soreness thing. So he's probably day-to-day. -day. So having a fresh arm... Off the 60-day IL would be a good thing, Miguel Castro. So, and uh, he he's got some movement on his pitches. So, um, it's a welcome addition. And I still think the Yankees are going to make a couple more roster moves. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. All right. And uh, I don't want you to miss it. And if you do, make sure to hit the notification bell as well, so you don't miss it. You don't miss live stuff, and you'll you'll get notified of things as soon as they come out. So I thank you either way. Now, my Aaron Judge. Okay. I mean, let's really quickly. We know that, you know, my prediction is Aaron Judge is going to win the MVP. Uh, will most likely win, uh, break Roger Maris's record in Texas and, um, and probably win the Triple Crown, okay? But combine them all into one thing. Um, my maiden prediction, and as some people might like it, some people might not, is that he's going to walk in free agency, okay? I know a lot of people want Judge back. And to me... I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna make this really clear. I think this is the, the the main premise of my prediction. There's a five day exclusive negotiating window after the World Series is over, immediately after, and uh, it's where the teams can negotiate with their own free agents before you know the floodgates open and it's just open sesame for everybody. Um, if the Yankees don't, uh, I think they need. I need think, I think they need to make Judge priority number one, but they have to do it in that five day period. If they don't do it in that five day period, it's not gonna happen at all. Okay, I don't think anybody's going to let him... First of all, you know, and Yankees like to wait months and months and months until January February to make a lot of their business moves and whatnot so that prices can drop, according to Brian Cashman and the rest of them. The judge's price is not dropping. Look at his stats. His price is not dropping, okay? And my prediction is he's going to get nine years, about $360 million, and about $40 million per. And uh, the Yankees bet on themselves with the offer they made him. Judge bet on himself by turning it down. 
Judge has clearly won that competition, clearly won that bet by 10 miles. Okay, and we have 61 home runs, 130 RBIs. You're batting almost 315, like, and you're likely going to win multiple awards. Your price is not going down. Okay, not even by five cents. So, I think it's going to be a short handful of teams. But and if you want to know exactly where I think he's going to go, my MLB free agent prediction is going to come out right after the World Series. I have a video on that that I'm finalizing, and uh, I think you'll find it interesting as well. Probably the top 30 or top 40 free agents. And uh, so you won't want to miss that, so you know what to do, so you don't miss it. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think Judge walks. And I mean, this is, and I think this is a self-inflicted wound by the Yankees. They've done this way too many times, and you know they miss out on key guys. And then you know while they're waiting and waiting and waiting, other guys who are sensible alternates to these free agents are also gone because other teams are being aggressive while the Yankees are sleeping. The Yankees have 112 plus million coming off the books. They can spend. Okay, and the fact is, I mean, there's, no, there's nothing to me much more profitable than winning a World Series in New York. So they had a chance to sign Judge. They knew 213 uh, or, or, or the eighth year option year was not going to cut it. They knew that. I mean, who didn't? So was it a reasonable little yeah, deal? Yeah, but I mean, every time, every, <laughs> every month, he was just adding $20 million to that, to that contract. So... That's my that's my kind of my prediction on Judge, and that's the roster move as well. And you let me know what you think. If you, what do you think his contract's going to be, and do you think he'll stay or not? I think the Yankees have. So this is a self-inflicted wound by the Yankees, and I think they've, you know, if if he does walk, I mean, they have really no, no one to blame but themselves. And I understand, you know, and I've said this a million times. He's going to go where the money is, and somebody is going to say this guy's the missing piece that we need, and is going to overpay. And by gazillions, whatever it is, like, and uh, and so be it. And it's his right to cash in as a as a free agent. He's a superstar player, and this is his one opportunity to do it, just like all the other guys do it. So there's no different here. And um, so that's what I think is going to happen. I think he's going to win a couple of awards here, or hit a couple of milestones, and then he's going to, you know, parlay that into walking. And uh, and again, the Yankees will have nobody to blame but themselves. If they do it, so I don't buy. I really don't buy much of what uh, Randy Levine says. Uh, Hal, I don't really buy too much. I mean, he's a good dude, but he's smart. He's cryptic, but he also drives a hard line on free agents. His own free agents. He did it to Jeter, did it to Rivera, Posada, Pettit, all these guys. Bernie, he did it to all of them, and he's gonna do it to Judge too. They can. They look for their talking points and their reasons to not. Here's why we can't give you, blah 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 and blah 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 because of boo 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 and boo boo boo. It's going to happen. We know it. It's inevitable. It happens all the time. And But I'll say this too. If they don't re-sign Judge within that five-day period, if I'm them, I'm taking Benatendi off the market immediately, re-signing him. I want Rodon off the market immediately. I'm signing him too. I mean, those two guys combined is going to cost probably half of what Judge is going to cost. So that's what I would do immediately and then start to put together you know, the other pieces in the bullpen and maybe look for another starter and whatever other pieces they might need. And maybe give some young kids an opportunity. But, I mean, what do you think about this one, guys? Let's talk about this. I'll see you guys later for the lineup against Texas. Over and out.